I, uh, <laughs> Dan will be still in bed. He won't be watching this. I, uh, no. Um, what would you, you ask me there? <laughs> well, let <laughs> <laughs> me rephrase the question. <laughs> Was it, I've, um, I've seen your work uh, yes, in, in a nightclub. It? No, it's... <laughs> it's <laughs> the interesting thing is that you're a real old-fashioned comedian. You stand in front of the curtain, yes, you've got no prop, you don't sing, stick. you don't dance, you just tell good stories. stories yes. You really uh, zap it to them, don't you? Um, yes, that's, that comes from the, uh, sort of the nightclub days, I suppose. Mm. The funny thing is, though, I think Ron will probably agree with me on this, that since we were both seem to start in the Frost Report. I always say seem, because we spent about 15 years of our lives before that all around the sticks, didn't we? Right, yeah. and place. No. Uh, people still see us as, or think of us, maybe not so much now that the two Rons, but tend to think of us as being satirist. You know, people still see us. Yeah, that's all that that was the week that was. Two Rons, so there's not a word of satire. Yeah. Not a word of satire. No, we're really both old comics. Really. Yeah, yeah, we are. You see, the interesting thing, though, you, you have very interesting... He's more comical. <laughs> very interesting <laughs> self-images, because the last time you were here, Ron, you said that you really basically were a sort of middle-class, middle-of-the-road chap from Pinner who sort of washes the car on Sundays, and that's it. You're not really a comedian at all. Have you seen my car? <laughs> <laughs> I haven't watched it for ages. I watched the wife on Sunday. There you are. <laughs> so you must be careful. <laughs> Does a hair beautifully come back. <laughs> uh, no, I am, that's right. Yes, I always think of myself as a, as a non-entity, yes, with money. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that's not a bad idea. No, no, I do. <laughs> Oh, yes. My father used to say, money doesn't bring happiness, but it enables you to be miserable in comfort. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. But when you come on the stage now, I'm sure a lot of people, you know, going along to the Coventry Theatre will expect to see you sitting at desks and just sort of doing a television... We don't... Sit, no, it's that's not, not that at all, is not it? Not at all. It's, no. um, it, it's, uh, we do things that you might... The type of material that we, we might expect us to do, but also it's a very, very big production with huge, da with huge dancers. Huge people. dancers? Huge dancers. <laughs> 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 well, I make them look huge. I, I stand. And I make them look thin. <laughs> <laughs> They're very good. They're very good. Lovely, yes. Lovely, Wonderful lovely. routine, spectacle, yeah. Yeah. and for the children as well. Respectful. Now, because yeah. we are, because uh, <laughs> because um, because we're going to have a look at a spectacle in a moment. Heckler. Are we going to have a look at a spectacle? Yes, because but just before we go yeah, to yeah. say that, was what I was going to say, which was important, was that since we're across the board, kind of, children come, um, and it isn't a pantomime. It's a wonderful review for yeah. the family, but for children who might feel it's a bit late, we're doing a special. Matinee on Saturday afternoons, yes. four o'clock. So only the one matinee in the week is, is Saturday afternoons. Yes. Well, so I just wanted to see. We're going to look now at the kind of spectacular that you've been able to put on television. It's called Saturday Night Fervor. Oh, yes. And after looking at it, all I can say is Olivia John, Olivia Newton John, and John Travolta, eat your heart out. Yeah. Just watch <laughs> I was rocking at the pally with the raver name of Sally. What a trick. What a trick. She was smashing, she was thrilling, she was wealthy, she was willing, she was thick. <laughs> What a chick. <laughs> she said, don't be shy. She said, make it fast. She gave me the eye. It was made of glass. I was driving up the Mecca with the roller called Rebecca Waterbird. What a figure, what a favor, what a rocker, what a river. What a turn. I was getting for the wall, my speckle Becky's got enormous. So We were sitting down all the time in that sketch. Yeah, that, that, that is. And what about the two, the two country western singers you introduced, Fat Belly Jones? And yes, we're, we're doing them? those in the in the eh? show at Coventry. We are we actually do do yes, we do Coventry. Those, yes. Yeah, <clears throat> Jim Jehoshaphat and Fat Belly Jones. Jim, oh, that's right. Yeah. They, they were they were really something yeah, special. They really right? caught on. Yes. So yeah. I like to touch the Gene Vincents there with the oh, black right. leather and the, the, <laughs> the dark glasses. Yeah. Uh, how long do these take to put together? Because they three quarters of an hour. Hard work. We're coming in the afternoon. No, it's, uh, <laughs> they take a long time. Um, we do the shows weekly once we've done the filming. We do a month's filming for the whole series to start with, and that is the serial, you know, the bit in the middle, uh, Piggy Malone or whatever. This, this time it's the women's yeah. lib thing. Uh, but then after that, we work weekly, and, and we rehearse all the week and do it in front of an audience like this, only about, what, five times, six times as big? Yes. Perhaps. Um, not the people not individually, <laughs> just... <laughs> um, and we do it just like a show, you know. So it's... Uh, 
the thing we <coughs> we uh, <coughs> excuse me um, <coughs> I, uh, <laughs> we, we, uh, we find is that we, we we try and get it as absolutely right on paper don't we before, before we actually we do it so yes. there isn't a wasted so when you put it on on the table in front of them, that's what you're going to do. Yes. That is near. You're not rewriting all the week. You're not rewriting all the week. We hope. So we do a lot of pre-work on the drawing board. Don't we? That's right. You see, inevitably, we'll people make on the ironing board. <laughs> <laughs> you know, people make comparisons with with double acts. You are not a double act. You are uh, single acts who come together. <laughs> <laughs> but obviously, you've got you've got benefits going for you. The, the, the big oh, yes. and small, and the you know the, the, the different kind of contrast the shapes, of oh, yes. style. Well, I mean, Having lost John Cleese, I mean, we were all the different shapes you could get, but now I mean, we, we haven't got a tall, thin one among us, but we still are very different in shape, yes. And and I, I'm sure that's, that's a lot of the... Because uh, yeah. that's the Laurel the Hardy thing, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Laurel, was, he was six foot four, Hardy, did you know? That, really? They were both very tall men. Do you know that? Really? You're standing on that? Yes. Stan Laurel that, was six foot and Hardy was six foot four. I know that Hardy was a very athletic man, a great golfer, and he was yes. the lazy one of the team, and Hardy was the, was, was the, the, the brains of the operation. Yeah. Yeah. Laurel was the brains. Laurel was the brains. Sorry, Laurel was the brains. the reverse yeah. in this case, and... Uh... <laughs> 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 which am I? Which am I? <laughs> yes, which I'm I'm the <laughs> you, I mean, you're, you're the tall thing, uh, six foot brain. one. <laughs> <laughs> no, it is strange, but of course, in a... In a a, a, a situation which is a double act when we work together, though, as you uh, very kindly pointed out, we do have separate uh, careers as well, which we both yeah. are uh, anxious to maintain. We love to do. But there's so much give and take, and you find that there's so, so many qualities which um, are reversible or which one yes. compensates for another yeah. and other's interests, and, and you, you just find. Yeah, you we, we it, just don't happen you? to be very two bits of a jigsaw. That's know. right. Wordplay is your great thing, isn't it? You, you, you love, I love playing words, with words. Yes, yes, yes. Well, I don't know how else to say things, really. I mean, it's the only way to say anything. Well, that's, that's <laughs> true. You've got to use words if you're going to say anything. I, I'm, in this I world. have noticed that, yes. <laughs> Where would you be? Yeah, well, absolutely. <laughs> Imagine a, a silent interview. Wouldn't you? <laughs> I'm doing one with Marcel Marceau shortly. Oh. <laughs> He's, yes, he rabbits a lot. Oh, yes, no, it never stops, yeah. never stops. Yes, I love words, I love words. And, uh, I think we, we, we are known as sort of as word people, I think, really, more than, more than we don't do much knockabout stuff, but on film we occasionally do a bit, you know, and, which is nice. But we are words, we are, we are people who talk, actually. Well, with words, with music, with knockabout, with whatever you put into the show, good luck with, uh, with the show starting in Coventry, Coventry, and good luck with your combined and separate careers. Thank you very Thank much. You Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Well now, how to...